Friend, God loves you and so do I. Isn't it true that you have heard almost all your life that Jesus Christ died on the cross and paid for all the sins of the world? Now, if he paid for all the sins of the world, mine and yours and everybody's, well, why should we have to go to hell and pay for sin if he's already paid for it? Well, you see, he came back from the dead and the only thing he wants you to do is to believe he did it for you. That's how much he loves you. He paid for your sins because he didn't want you to have to pay for them. Let me show you a simple illustration that kind of puts all of this together. Letting this hand represent you and me and this wallet represents sin. See, we all have sin on us. Now, God, he, he loves us, but he hates our sin. And to pay for sin is eternal separation from God in a literal fire burning hell. But God loves us, wants us to go to heaven. But to go to heaven, we have to be perfect, no sin. And nobody's perfect. So the God of the Bible says that none of us, none of us, can earn our way to heaven because there's no amount of good works that we can do to pay for our sins. The wages of sin is death. That means to be separated from the Lord. So we can't earn our way to heaven. The Bible says in Ephesians 2, 8, 9, For by grace are you saved through faith, and that not of yourselves. It is the gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast. So we can't earn eternal life. We need a Savior. And there's only one. Let in this hand represent Jesus Christ. He's the Lord, God in the flesh. See, He doesn't have any sin. So He came into the world because He loves us. He loves you. And He hates your sin because your sins, He separates us from the Lord. But the payment for sin being death, Christ took the sin, all the sin, all of mine, all of yours, the whole world, and paid for it on the cross. The Bible says that Jesus came back from the dead. The payment for sin has been made. The only thing he wants you to do is the only thing you can do is to believe that he did it for you. So he loves you that much and he was willing to die to give you the free gift of everlasting life. A verse that most people have heard all their lives is John 3, 16. Let me show you. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son Jesus Christ, that whosoever, open invitation to all, whosoever believeth in him, if you'll believe that he paid for your sins, he'll put this payment to your account. You get to go to heaven on what Jesus Christ did for you. See friend, the reason that I can't go to hell today, and the reason that I can't go to hell tomorrow or any time in the future, is because I don't have any sins to pay for. See, Jesus Christ paid for all of my sins and I believe it. And that's how I know I have eternal life. And if you will believe it, then you can know that you have eternal life. And God said he'd never cast you out. He said he would never lose you. So friend, right now, in the quietness of this moment, would you believe that he did that for you? You can do this because it's free. Will you trust Jesus Christ right now as your savior? And if you trust him right now, he saves you right now and gives you eternal life. And friend, if he gives you eternal life, how long would it last? Forever. If it lasts forever and all of your sins are paid, where would you go when you die? To heaven. Friend, that was the best news I ever heard in my life. And I hope that's been good news for you too. Trust Christ as your savior. Thank you and God bless you, friend.